back in the 1850s when the steel mill was built, it was the forefront of American steel making. The steel mill closed in 1992, so it's been largely dormant for 27 years. And we've reoccupied these buildings, transitioned our school from New York to Johnstown. You know, it's really important to teach crafts and keep those crafts alive. People are really interested in making something that's gonna last and learning about where that came from. I mean, it's really far-fetched, but you wouldn't have an iPhone if there wasn't a blacksmith. What CMA has taught Johnstown is our industrial past is actually an asset. And for too long, we've not looked at it that way. This tremendous built environment, the legacy of the folks who worked here. Now we have people coming in and seeing all the value in all that and capturing it both as a practical thing in terms of the school itself, but also in storytelling in allowing us to celebrate our industrial past instead of looking at it something we need to simply get past. We get about 200 to 250 students a year. And then the workshops range from one day to six weeks long and students come from all over the country and we have a smaller percentage that also come from abroad. We have student housing, which is a five minute walk down the river. And that's a big step forward for us in, in our long-term plans with the school. And that's one thing that Johnstown was specifically able to offer us that New York was not. Johnstown has certainly experienced its fair share of hard times, but it's now experiencing a renaissance, a renaissance that is really craft and design driven. Bridgeway Capital wants to do more in areas like Johnstown and other mill towns and rural communities that could really benefit from artisans, crafters, and makers that want to grow businesses in their areas. When I moved here, what I didn't expect to happen was to fall in love with the city. When I look out at that bridge, that informs my sculptural process. So that's why Johnstown is so special for me because everywhere I look is inspiration.